Manitou Casting Removal and Service for Forks with Non-Threaded Castings. This video covers the removal of the outer legs or casting, as well as replacing the semi-bath oil and dust wiper seals on the Manitou Mezer forks. Assemble these tools and parts, and let's get started. Take these steps first. Remove the wheel, reinstall the axle, remove the brake assembly from the fork, thoroughly clean the fork with isopropyl alcohol, you may choose to remove the fork from the bike and mount it in a bike stand. Start by removing the rebound knob from the bottom of the right leg using a 2mm hex wrench. Be sure to hold the knob stationary while removing the screw. The damper adjuster may be damaged if the knob is over torqued. Still on the bottom of the right leg, use a 14mm box end wrench to loosen and remove the lock nut. Insert an 8mm hex wrench into the end of the rebound damper rod to hold it in place while loosening the nut. Make sure the fork is positioned horizontally or upside down. Oil may start to drain from the casting at this time. On the bottom of the left leg, unscrew the air cap and attach a shock pump. Note the air pressure. Depress the pressure bleed button until the pump reads 0 PSI. Depress the Schrader valve a few times with a 2 mm hex wrench to ensure all air is released. Use a 14 mm box end wrench to loosen and remove the lock nut. Use an 8 mm socket to hold the rebound damper rod in place while loosening the nut. You can now remove the casting from the fork. Do this over a drain pan to catch the semi-bath oil from the casting. Drain all of the oil from the casting before continuing. Remove the springs from the lip of the dust seals. Remove the old foam wiper rings. Using a downhill tire lever or similar tool, carefully pry the dust seals out of the casting. This may require some force. Clean the entire fork and seal area with isopropyl alcohol. Thoroughly saturate new foam rings with semi-bath fluid and install them into the fork casting. Check that the casting above the wiper seal is clean and free of semi-bath fluid. The dust seal can be easily dislodged if there's oil on it or the casting. Using a 37 mm seal press or large socket, press in the dust seals. Reinstall the springs onto the seals. Manitou recommends replacing the dust seals with each fork service. At this time, you may choose to perform service work on the dampers and air spring in the fork stanchions. Refer to our other videos for specific instructions. Assuming additional services are complete or not needed, you are ready to reinstall the casting. Do this before adding damper oil to the fork or setting damper oil height. Orient the fork so the legs are pointing up. Fully thread a shock pump onto the bottom of the left leg. Fill the air chamber to 60 PSI. With the pump still attached, confirm the air spring is fully extended by lightly pulling on the air shaft. This will ensure the fork has the correct axle to crown length and make it easier to install the casting. Finally, remove the shock pump. You're ready to reinstall the casting. Apply a light coating of semi-bath fluid to the inside diameter of each dust seal on the casting. Ensure the rebound damper and compression rods are fully extended. Slide the casting onto the stanchion assembly. Take care that the seals do not get folded over. Only slide the casting about halfway at this point. With the fork still inverted, insert semi-bath into each casting leg. Once the semi-bath is in the legs, slide the casting the rest of the way onto the stanchion assembly until the damper and spring shaft pass through the ends of the casting. Some manual alignment may be needed. 
thread the lock nut onto the damper shaft. Hold the lock nut with a 14 mm box wrench and use an 8 mm hex wrench to tighten the rebound damper rod. Tighten by turning it counterclockwise. Do not over tighten. Add a small drop of blue Loctite to the rebound knob screw and install using a 2 mm hex wrench. The Loctite will prevent the screw from backing out during riding. Be sure to hold the knob stationary while installing the screw. The damper adjuster may be damaged if the knob screw is over torqued. On the left leg, thread the lock nut onto the spring shaft. Hold the lock nut with a 14 mm box end wrench and use an 8 mm socket to tighten the compression rod. Tighten by turning it counterclockwise. Do not over tighten. You have completed the process of removal, service, and installation of the non threaded casting for Manitou Mezer forks. Damper and air spring service are covered in other videos. Please continue to our YouTube channel and ManitouMTB.com for more maintenance procedures and assembly instructions. Thank you for riding with Manitou.